Hey, hey there, Joy the World friends and family. This is your Freaky Friday. Maybe it's your Freaky Friday night because they're like, Joy, er, stop, wait, hold up. We need you to go out and spend the daytime charging up in the sun and ascertain the vulnerability of these energies going about so that you can sift and discern what's going on and return it to our friends here at the channel. There's There's been some like whips and some tailwinds going on that can cause maybe a little bit of confusion, struggle, maybe even a little bliss in your life, but I wouldn't want you to have the rug pulled out from under you, okay? So that you can be steady and stable and be able to ride this flying carpet that we got coming in. Because what I see here, mm, baby, they asked me to use the True Heart Tarot, and they're talking about your success and happiness coming on in. How exactly did they say it? Your success and happiness spans all time and space. So that's pretty exciting because it branched out and over the rooms, out and over the credit cards. I mean, we're talking about, you want to talk about Big Papa coming in hard, baby. He's coming in hard and heavy. And I don't mean like tough and rough. No, no. In the fullness and the richness of life, of all the adoration that Big Papa has for you, that Saturn has for you, this fullness, this bestowment that's coming in the turn as he's taking his hand and guiding us lovingly into Aquarius because you know what? He ain't going there alone, baby. He's taking us with him. And we get to ride this wave of Aquarius, this plasma wave, which by the way is a wave of love. That's what plasma is. It is the stem cell of life. It is the primordial force from which all things come from. It is a state of a tremendous expansion and contraction all at the same time. That's why it is the fourth state of scientific matter that they have not been able to replicate nor reproduce within a closed environment, a contained environment, aka a lab. But we got the clone of Macedonia here, don't we, friends? Because we know wherever two together on Earth agree it is done. That is the magnificent power of plasma as well. It's conjugating. It loves to come together. It loves to get in agreement because we are not here to compete with each other. We're here to complete one another. No, there's nothing missing on you, nothing broken. But each of us in our wholeness creates that complementariness that magic mirror that the 1221 is talking about, the divine meant not just that day in that gate, that day in that gate opens and activates all the 1221s going on in our life, in our planet, in our world. Same as they're talking to me about um, emphasizing the importance or just sharing the idea that when we're in a particular season, for you to consider watching the readings for that season like you would watch Saggy during the whole time of Saggy. You can watch whatever signs you feel drawn to, but they're saying to be in time and step with the rhythms and the harmonizing of what is going on. It's not just for Sagittarian rising like I am or sun or what other symbol is out there. It is to be in rhythm with the heartbeat of the season, to keep us in the flux and the flow. And as Big Papa Big Daddy says, as you can see, he's got rings going on around him. This is the wheel of fortune. More than the wheel of fortune, it's about the wheel of work and play. It is about our will, our center, central unifying chakra, the star radiant power, right? The eye of God from where it all comes. So I want to tune, I'm already like, y'all can't see me. I'm like, Rrr! I'm already leaning in, ready to take some notes and ooh, I wish I could, but I, when I'm through, going to sit back on the other side, just like y'all do on YouTube and watch this as well. Now, just so you know, these are timeless reads. It's not just about the day that fries. It is any day because these are energy sessions provide here to help tune you in and level you up into the energy of your eye of God, of your true self, of your satisfaction, your fulfillment and beauty of who you are. Maybe to love yourself, to enjoy yourself, to embrace yourself, to afford yourself the opportunity of walking in the advantage of who you are. We each have an advantage. That's what our snapshot, our chart is about. And when we know ourselves, we know how to move about this energy of the world's chart and where it's at from day to day. And like today, three points of time going on today. I don't know what that is, y'all, because I don't tune into all the astrology messages going on. What I need comes to find me. And then we just talk about the energy. Okay, so your soul, yourself, your beauty, your divine, your wisdom, your giftings and inclinations can draw together with that energy, getting the resonance and the confirmation that you need to walk out your life. Okay. Bring forward your impossible dreams, friend. We're ready to ride this magic carpet ride into your success and happiness that spans all space and time. Stick with me, friend, to the end. Let's complete this, okay? So, interestingly enough, they have this energy session. Super, hello, maybe it's unspoken. 
It's a peek a -boo. Sweet Chariot is coming for you. And you talk about some titillation, some excitement, some stimulation. That's what they're doing is they're stimulating this pink ray of the heart. This imagination that children often have when you see them gleaming and glistening in the sun when they're outside having a good time, age five, six, seven, eight, nine, around that time. When you catch them when they're not looking, that's what we have going on here in the six of this. When you're not looking, people see you, when you are seen for who you truly are in that gentle essence, that expressive essence, when you're open and effervescing, just like the ocean effervesces, just like a bottle of champagne when it's pop effervesces or your sparkling waters or your sodas. And you just nuzzle up close to that big cup of love, okay? And the fizzies tickle you all underneath. It's awakening more than just one sense. It's bringing them together, synergizing them, and drawing you in to this conjugation energy with plasma. What is this? Okay, this is the six of discs. You talk about balance. You talk about uh, reciprocation, things coming in, things being like, equanimity, like seeing eye to eye, being on the same page, no more compromise, y'all. It isn't about that because that's already coming from a place of struggle, disagreement, fractured, um, something missing. It's like the element of love comes in and it fills in all the gaps and the cracks, okay? And it brings it into the golden, goldness energy, the goldness ray. They're very much expressing here about... Um, well, I'll just tell you what they're saying. They're talking about the age of illumination. I'm like, what is that? They're like, Joy, we told you earlier. It's that wave of color that lives beyond this realm where we're at right here if we're just in the 3D. You know, if, you, if you're someone who's ever dealt with art or you deal with colors, there's the primary colors on the color wheel, the three colors, the red, the blue, and the yellow. And that's what they call it. But when you go into the cosmic ray, and you go just beyond our atmosphere, they actually resonate as different colors. They resonate as watermelon, as cyan, or, or kind of a, well, imagine an, an enriching of like aquamarine, aqua and turquoise all at once. Well, there we go, cyan. Thank you for volunteering, little card here. Good Lord. They're like, Joy, there's the creative power going on. There's the amber ray. Here's the watermelon, oh, the flamingo. And then we have the cyan or the aquamarine type ray going on into the cosmic envelopment. So that's what levels up our world. From here, which if we had this covered, that would just look like a grayish day that it just tones it and mutes it down a bit. But they're saying just as that gray days can mute it down when the sunny days come, when the eye of God comes, when you and your fullness and that synergistic nature of love, letting love into you letting yourself be loved first and foremost within by yourself out into this world that you're in the overflow and the beautiful self, the goldness self, that the world gets to love you out of your overflow. There's no more pain, no more hurting, no more crying, no more wanting. That's what they're talking about. So just as this dims and diminishes and devoids the color, kind of like, you know, titrating or sucking it off, this amps and ramps it up. Okay, well, I'm gonna just leave that turn up on top. They told me to have that deck near my I don't know what they're doing now. See confetti, spirals, DNA conjugation going on. Hey, hey, fun tech issues that have been going on today. Do not disturb. Let that call through. But anyways, it's more than the gossamer threads being strummed here. Those are going off. You can look closely. Let me angle it around. Look at the emanations from the crown. That's like the gossamer threads of life. The love connections going on. The heartstrings going on. But we also have an air of celebration going on around you. These are like those conjugal strands. Remember a couple of weeks back when we were talking about those cosmic eggs? They wouldn't let me call it the pearl. Remember? So it was lifted up and you saw those bands and those waves of these white luminous eggs coming in is our cosmic DNA being restored to us, our spiritual DNA, our spiritual rights being restored to us. That cancels out generational curses. That cancels out the low vibrational dust debris of the earth kind going on of people's lower end energies that haven't been cleaned up, but they're, they're kind of heavy and they sit around like detritus. And it's talking about all that going out so that our spiritual energy can rise up from the ground, life kissing our feet. All that we afforded ourselves when we divine our chart is stowed beneath our feet. That's why you need to know one thing, when to stand up for yourself and when to stand up to yourself. friend. <laughs> because in that, you own the place in which you stand. You stay in the truth of your identity, the awareness and the fullness of your knowledge. And you realize it's not about real estate. It's about knowing your own energy, your own vibration, and your worth and your value here. Not trying to get others to understand it. That's where the confusion comes in. And that's what they're saying here. 
that's where the confusion could come in. But we want the clarity. These almost represent like this eye and this eye. When they come to, they're seeing two different things. I mean, practice it right now with me. Do one eye and then the other. And it's like, dur, dur, dur. if you look at something on the wall, it moves. You know what I mean? Based on which angle you're looking at from your eye. But this is when it all comes together. And that's called 3D. We can mean the D as depth perception. So they're wanting you to perceive beyond your experience of what has occurred in this life. Um, some of us, when we bump our heads, we wake up and we're just victims of our chart. The chart's going around. We're trying to learn it and try and understand it as if it is the ultimate power and authority when really it's not we are. We are our destiny. We divined our destiny. And it's in that reawakening and the mastering and just not even just about getting it right, y'all. It's about getting in tune with it. Um, finding peace with it, um, overcoming it, uh, developing with it, discovering the nuances of it. They actually begin to do that. Like George Washington Carver told us, if you love something enough, it will reveal its secrets to you, right? So it is that discovery of love going in there so that it can open up to us and we can evolve into the deeper and deeper layers of dimension. Now, how does that play in? Well, the next card that we have, talk about your uh, success, that's what we were talking about here in your happiness. Look, we have the 10 of coins, the 10 of discs coming on in. Remember how we talked about that postage stamp, that little footprint under your feet, that when you create your chart, that's why we are the whole pie, y'all. We are all the signs, all right, because we are the whole pie. And each part of it holds different facets based on what we do or don't even have in that house and what it's connected to into other houses. That is the kind of like our cat in the cradle, you know, where you take the strings and you weave them together to make this little thing with your hands. It's kind of like your weaving of your own tapestry, the expression and the symphony of yourself. That's what makes you unique, beautiful and special. And it affords these openings, these portals, these giftings of life for you. And some of them have been stored in the ground for a minute. Okay, this seems to be a recap because look all up in here, y'all. There's that ruby that's faceted that they're massaging. They're like, good thing y'all massaged it up and got it all fascinating. You are fascinating. You are beautiful. And this is very much showing up in the pineal gland. This is showing up in like the... The final operations of our endocrine system, of our hormones, of the balancing of where emotional qualities are coming from. They're talking about the fountain of life. They talk about you graduating from your life university. And yes, we want to graduate. Because you know what happens when we graduate? We start to live. We start to live because going to school and being schooled is about all the tools, all the trades, all the obedience, all the discipline, all the things that everybody used to associate with Big Papa, okay, Big Daddy Saturn. And don't limit him to that. He's so fascinating. He's so far beyond because look at the limitless gate. Look at this flow and flow and connection going on here. And this has to do with favor, resonance, confirmation, that type of energy. So when you go into this, you step into your kingdom power and authority. When you graduate and you dismiss karma, and now I know karma isn't just bad. It's that other stuff. They, they just talk about those things that we have to learn in life. Let me tell you, you graduate from university, which is where you keep subjecting yourself to lessons, okay? Because life really wants to delish, divine, and dance with you. That's the truth of what's going on here. How do I know there is a triunity going on? This is one whole individual. This is another whole individual. And that is the relationship, the child. Okay, so this is you. This is life. And that's your relationship, your divine connection. The kingdom of heaven on earth coming all the way through in pure communication. That there is no distortion to the understanding is an impression that is received in your heart because you see clearly no compromise no one eye over here and one there because that's like that buggy or that shopping cart at the grocery store it has that crazy wheel that has it going to do, to do, to do and you're like get me out of hell what is happening and that's what they're doing because see having to be stuck and relegated to cycles and lessons playing out over and over and over again is a waste and a squandering of your time it's a distraction. The thing is, is as we move through, there is reason, rhyme, and purpose. There is beauty and a discovery kind of enthroned and masked inside of there that they want us to have this life, this life of the senses, this place of pleasure where we can begin to divine and dance with it, where we can follow after. Can you remember if they ever presented material and said you're not going to be tested on this, that something and you just opened like a gate, like a doorway, and you would sit there and listen and often find yourself being interested and curious and dialoguing about what's going on and remembering it almost implicitly 
as it was just spoken over you without jotting all these notes and everything else. That's what life is saying. The moment we release ourselves from the obligation and the duty of a purpose here and learning and applying and thinking we're going to get tested and, oh God, it was so bad I got burned. What do I need to know? How do I fix it? What am I responsible for? And we begin to realize that they want us to respond, respond to life with oohs and ahs. It's like, and wows and hmms and things like that, that engage us into a deeper layer, a deeper level. It's one that is hidden in plain sight. Okay, let's find what's hidden in plain sight. Five of Cups, pie in the sky, high hopes, the sun and the moon coming into balance, which all that's what's been happening. We have not just them coming into balance like they do with the new and the full moon. We have an eclipse going on with the new and the full moon. So we have a lunar eclipse and a solar eclipse going on. So there's this balancing act going on right now. We're talking about kissing the sky. So I understand you're talking about us kissing the sky. Tell us. Y'all, you know, I could just sit up here. If you could see that, I would just sit like this and talk to you as the cars just flick and jump and do their thing. They're so happy and ready to talk to you. Ooh, baby. The serpent soul. The world. Your world is turning around for you. You hold the magic and the power in your hands. This is what they're talking about when you do graduate. Because the moment you are free and open, remember when you realize you're not being tested, that's not about getting it right or wrong or black or right or here or there or up or down or them or us or any of that. It's about coloring our world with love. Right? Dee, 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 dee. That's what today has been about, y'all. They're coloring our world with love. That's what is happening here. And you see that magnificence cuts on. This is very much the electrical energy of the sun in the snowflake that each one's personage that is here, like the eye of God, is specific to you. Just like no two snowflakes are, right, uh, are alike, that crystalline pattern, right? And this is about the multiple dimensions coming together like we saw over here, coming together, the faceting of the rubies, the pineal gland, the being able to rise up above in the collections of the tomes of time of all that you've experienced, witnessed, seen, and known. Not just those lessons, but the magic of your stars of who you are is your wealth, your riches, your prosperity, your connectivity. Now, someone had asked me earlier, someone that's getting a reading, they asked me and they wanted to know about how to protect ourselves. And the answer was incredibly simple that came. It came that connection is protection. Now you can't truly connect unless it's a relationship. That's a covering. It's so different. Connection is protection. That is the, the synergistic um, protection mechanism of love in and of itself. That love is there when it's unconditional, it's truly connected. When it's truly connected, it creates this whole cycle and this whole magic going on here that causes life to abound. It causes all sources and all forces to be available and availed to us. No longer having to do laws of manifestation, laws of attraction. Let me get into the secret. Let me figure out how to work this. Why? Because that still has a level of consciousness to it. It still has a level of being. They want us to surpass being, okay? Because in being, it still causes us to teeter and totter, to flux and flow, to ebb and flow, to move through these different energies. And, and as we know, like the rumor circle that they had us practice as kids where something is whispered into the first person's ear and they translate it to the next and the next and the next. And before it comes all the way around, it is altered and changed, okay? So even when we're communing with ourselves uh, from the left to the right half, from, from our, our uh, eye to our hand, hand-eye coordination and walking things out, I've had a brain injury. Trust me, I understand this thing totally and clearly 3D. But things can get lost in that translation, same as from our unconscious to our conscious mind, okay? And then imagine they were teaching me about our chakras that they don't just have this one central channel. They have three dimensions as well and beyond so if we're sitting there battling about in those three of, of future and past and present, then we're lost. We're not going to get anywhere. And we'll just keep going to school and keep going to school. What do you do today? I'm going to show up and go to school. I'm going to go to class. Do you have a test day? Yes, I do. Did you stay for your test? I don't know. Are you going to pass? I don't know. Are you going on the next? I don't know. Where you go? I don't, I don't know. This step, Cindy, here's who I am. Amnes. 
I do know. I know who I am. Because all you have to know is know who you are right now. And begin to embrace what life, what the beauty of Big Papa, this divine man is coming in to show you today, to unveil to you today, to enrich you with today, to kiss you with today, to love you today, right now. Isn't that beautiful? It softens the energy and I open up knowing I'm not being tested. It's not about right or wrong. It's about assimilating. And remember the celebratory conjugating that life, these celebrations are springing up from the ground to kiss you, to divine with you, to bless you. Okay, friend. So let's move forward from there. And we have a little bit of a background story going on here because next we have coming in the star, which we could be like, ooh, that's fantastic, Joy. Doesn't that just go right along with this? But th there's, a, there's a bit of a difficulty going on with the star and that has produced a lot of isolation for you of feeling alone, left out in this world, because see the two energies of the battery, you've totally had to run yourself, 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 but there's a part of you that's still longing, okay, still connected and searching the horizon, yearning in your heart for the place from which you come, okay, your place of origin, and there's nothing wrong with that, because that's where we come from, that's where the music is coming from, you know, it's, it's coming from inside of us, but it's also coming from outside of us, and that is the thing that draws us together, like if you ever play Marco Polo, right, you're blindfolded and you're calling out to each other and you're talking about wanting to finally see and, and behold the beauty and that you are loved here on earth. Because the challenge with this about the star is when there isn't someone from the same realm and origin, same capacity where you come from, the hills don't have arms and they don't have lips. And that love of the earth, of, of life itself, loving you divinely is beautiful. But there are these divine partnerings coming in. And this isn't for me. I'm not stirring it up in an absent or lustful fashion. Lust is a state of energy. It is like uh, the uh, DNA mutated form of love in that it tells you that you'll never have what it is that you want. Okay, so that moment that you begin to feel something's out of your grasp, your reach, you'll never have it. It's, you know, it's never going to happen for you. You'll never have what you want. That becomes lust. And it's not like you're, oh, I really want it. It's, it's just this thing that it creates a vacuum and a void. And it, it keeps that thing separated from you, that connection separated from you. So what stars reminding us is to stay in that beautiful divine connection, but also be true with yourself. And if you use guides, spirit, whatever, your breath. To connect and know that, yes, life is coming for you. Life has divineness. You did divineness. If it's something that you still desire truly in your heart, then it's something that is for you, okay? Remember those impossible dreams that we bring forward? There's this divine pairing that they talk about called the eternal flame that is making its way here. But there's been a lot of uh, vibrational fray and distraction that has made it kind of hard to penetrate. It's almost like if people make jello and they don't cover the top that it gets that hard skin on top and it makes it not as easy to move through. That's what they are talking about. And uh, we'll find out about more in a minute because there's an underlying card with there. No, they're telling us this other is cut off until we go down into it. Okay, so let's go on down into it. So this is going on in our pelvis. We have eyes and the eyes align with what's up here and it aligns with our balance. And those who often say their sciatica, their piriformis, their whatever is out. It has a lot to do with this, with your vision, with the concept of your vision, with the balance of your life. And this is kind of what is going on down in the sacral chakra in the realm of love and believing that love is for you or love is against you or that it's coming for you or it's not coming for you. You can see there's a bit of confusion and evidence kind of like testifying to both. So you're not so sure. It's almost like you're driving like that. All right. And that's disturbing you. And you're very sure that it's disturbing you. But there's something in the mist. There's something in the mist. So you're showing me that you have your eyes so focused on the prize that you don't realize you are the prize. You don't realize that the world you seek is actually occurring right here. It's already here. It's already here. That you putting everything back in and also advertising it as well is what has made you uh, stop living. Does that make sense? And life is in the living. And in that living... <laughs> That's when the flower, the blossom opens and the fragrance comes forth and those sort of things. So it's, that's why they say it's beyond the secret. It's beyond the manifestations and those laws. It's about your amnes, that your amnes becomes charged with life, this celebratory nature, <laughs> not celebratory. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. That's for you to decide. Not for me. The celebratory nature. 
rising up from the ground into this plasmatic environment here and your dreams coming to, to come find you because when it's alive, it's also activated. They're saying, leave that covering, that temporary tent that you put up there, longing and waiting for something to return to you for a number of you and some of you to ever come in the first place. Feeling like it's almost like long ago when there was an event going on, they would rent that big light that would swirl all around, shoot the laser beam up in the sky and you'd look outside and go, what is that? Like, oh yeah, there's an event going on tonight. And they're like, know thyself, know thyself, be thyself. You are beautiful and divine. You've come beyond that world. You've gone beyond that world of limitation of thinking that it's about what you do or don't do. Remember, they're saying, remember, you've graduated from university and now you get to enter into life to live all that you've learned and to apply it in this beautiful cosmic nature of your amnes of who you are. Because the thing is, it's all afforded to you and what you do, if you and I have the same things, right? What it becomes in your hands is totally different than what it becomes in my hands. Why? Because we see life differently. We each have our own beautiful perspective. They also talk about no two of us see, see the exact same rainbow because we can't be standing on the exact same spot on earth at the same time, right? So that's the part of the beauty of what they're talking about here. You have this whole beautiful world. Discover it. Take the cover off of your beauty friend. So tell me we'll get to this other world in a moment. Because see, there's this is what you thought your world looked like back behind there. All nasty, all gnarly, I'm life support. Like I barely made it. It about wrecked me. I died 20 times and I still try to believe in love. And you're saying eyes. I still try to believe in love, your eyes. Based on what you see, so back to the seeing is believing. And they're saying the believing is seeing, but then that returns to the be and the being. They're saying, and when you begin to realize all of this is just trappings, that right here is the key to everything, the eye is still whole, it is clear. All right, but it's talking about your destiny and your divinity coming together. There's a lot of destiny going on, but the divinity is almost like half step reduced. Like you're not fully stepping into the power of who you are, this beautiful self. You remember how we talked about the dulling and the dimming of your light? Many of us went through that. Like I, I didn't get a whole bunch of the privilege early on, but usually around seven, eight, nine, ten. You get picked on the very thing that makes you who you are, right? And, and you get bullied enough that you start thinking, how do I cut it off? How do I get rid of it? How do I tuck it away? How do I sweep it under the rug? That type of thing. And it begins to dim and dull and diminish. And then the favor of life is lost, okay? That connection with this divinement here of your goldness self. And that's what was happening here. So you didn't totally trust yourself. So you're here in, in almost the correct proportions and measure. Ignore all this, y'all. I'm just seeing that as conductivity. Conductivity. That you're seeking outside sources to amp up your divinity, your belief in yourself. And they're saying, no, 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 no. Turn to us. Turn to the eye of God. Turn to yourself. Turn to these messages. You know, during the season of Sagittarius, watch some Sagittarius messages. Also, if the name of a different reading calls you, go and listen to it. Because it's your soul, your spirit listening for the resonance and the confirmation going on there. So that you know how to walk boldly in it. The truth. Look at that fountain. That delightful life. All this like. It would be precarious, but they're using precarious in a good way, not in a bad way. Like, oh, an accident's going to happen. No, they're more like, woo, like kids do. When kids are frolicking and jumping about and celebrating, having a good old time, they'll be on their heads, on their ears, turning and rolling all around, having that good old time in that sunshine. The divining in this is more than just peace rising up. It is freedom, which you're talking about being the pinnacle of peace. The zenith of peace is freedom, expressing your self in your you-ness, your am-ness. So going beyond your belief of who you are, because that you're telling me that's a condition of worthiness. That's why you're almost, you know, needing compliments from other people or confirmation from other people are going on in. And I'm telling you, you know, it's that dialoguing. So here, that's why the channel is here. It's just the information coming through to you to cause you to dialogue with yourself, to listen to yourself and to be able to reflect and know what has been going on and what that awakens for you. What I say is not important. What you hear is more important. -er. It's more important. -er. Or is more important. Okay, friend. And that's what I want. You talk about your tree being all lit, all on fire. Now, the thing is, is calm down. 
calm down. Let's give it room and time. There's nothing else for you to learn, nothing else for you to prove. Let's let it green up. Let's let the covering of life come on you. Let's let Big Papa be your provision and your protection. He says, it's no skin off his nose. He said, what do you think I was born to do? There you are, my beautiful one. I got you in the forefront of my mind, remember? said, I know you're fine. I sent Michael to help fascinate massage your ruby to bring you out of university and into the realm where I can delight myself in watching you flourish and thrive and know who you are. The joy and the illumination, the satisfaction, fulfillment makes the entirety of all the cosmos a beautiful place. See those colors showing up here? It makes a magical world for us all. And that's what you're talking about. Okay, so now we can return to life. That's what they're talking about. So somehow this disconnect happened a long time ago. It may have been quite a minute, right? Since you have not thought of fixing and lessons and right and wrong and how do I do this and how do I get ahead or here's how I make my money or how do I pay my bills? You know, a lot of that. 2020 has definitely been a grinding halt to like either get addicted to it or to move on from it, right? But here they're talking about the lantern of love, the lantern of life the star. And I say the star belongs in the sky to shine. And as we know, the sun is our star. It is our star for us and it brings life to everything. Everything we see and we do to your success, to your happiness, to your fulfillment. But see, this is still letting me know there are those of you that this is your true heart's desire. You don't have to pretend that this is all okay. Be, be honest. Okay. Be honest with yourself. Where is that? Okay. Be honest with yourself, star. Be honest with yourself and let that hardness, like that kind of like gelatinous resistance of, you know, being exposed to the air, um, be transformed. Be transformed with the joy of living is what you're talking about there. And light begins to awaken on the horizon as you let life touch you fresh and new. No longer your reality overtaking your truth. Because that's when that mixed evidence, remember the things coming in kind of contaminated the mixed evidence, proving itself kind of to stand up for both, that you, that you weren't sure of, of what your divinity actually was. So this is coming in totally to free you from that and to let you know you're in a world up above this, up beyond this. And that is where you begin to look down when you get into your divinity. When you get into this golden self, you have that perspective and it begins to fill in the shadow scape, the shadow of doubt. Overcoming the shadow of doubt with what? Your ace of wands, your power of permission, your golden divinity, your authority in yourself to say, hey, my desires are valid. My desires are valid. I know what I truly feel in my heart. My heart is sweet and I know it's coming for me. It's going to find me. Just like we saw over here, it's going to be drawn to you, right? Not because you get things right or you say the profession's right or you've made the right vision board or you didn't make any mistakes this week or maybe you made the right turn and you were never late and da 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 da. Your budget's perfectly balanced, whatever. No, it's flat out like I am loved and I am lovable. Lots of amness going on there. And that strikes up the band, strikes up the chorus and lights you up. And it's like, what's well, the pod, Piper? But it's opposite. Ain't no rats need to run out from the city. The plague being chased out. It's in that dismissing of it. It's the calling in of life that dismisses the plague. It's the calling in of life that removes the poverty. It's that allowing life into you or allowing actually your life out into our world that causes it to level up and it casts light on these things that were once shadows of doubt so that you can see clearly and perfectly the way life sees you, the way Big Papa sees you, the way provision and protection desires to, to lean into you. But that's what happens when you're in your solarness, in your eye of God, in your full goldenness self, because you, it takes the pressure off. No more pressure. No more pressure. No more even having to rise from the ashes. We could be like, ooh, Phoenix power. Quetzalcoatl came in to be the final Phoenix. Say so you don't have to keep going. That's what Serpentia Soul is. Graduation, friend. Congr congratulations. Let me be the first to congratulate you on graduating. Graduating from Life University because you know what, baby? There aren't more lessons for you to learn. You're fascinating in life, Big Papa 
all the good stuff is ready. The systems of life, your experience of life is ready to see your fascinating self, living it out, enjoying, um, embellishing and imbibing and all the things that life has afforded you here under the sun, including yourself. Bless yourself, friend. I bless you. I love you. That's why I'm here. I believe in you. Okay, leave me comments and compliments down below. Comment and compliment to one another, but I always be kind and loving because what goes around comes around. That is the thing, the golden rule here. Treat others the way you would want to be treated. It's pretty easy, right? Give it a thumbs up, like, and share whatever if you find that you enjoyed this and check back in. Got the weekly reading coming up next. Love you.